and in this video I'm going to show you how to rig your 3D models to use in the chain physics template in Lens Studio. This is a great way to add a more natural or more organic look to your lenses by making it kind of wobble when it's attached to the head binding or something. A great example of the lens I made with this is my very, very popular iguana on head binding lens where the iguana is actually on my head and when you move your head around, the iguana wobbles. Now, I'm gonna be making a flower lens for this video, which I'm probably not gonna post, but a flower seemed like a great way to show off this idea. Now, the way this template actually knows where to bend the model is by using bones and armature. And by what the bones do is goes in between your model and tells it where it needs to bend in order to use for the Lens Studio template. To teach you how to rig your models and teach you how to use the bones so it actually moves your model, I'm gonna be using Blender. Blender is the best prime pick for 3D modeling software and if you want to get into 3D modeling or you want to get into texturing or animations, you name it, Blender is the best software to use for that and it's 100% free. So that's why I'm using it in this video. I'll leave a link in the description to download Blender and I highly, highly recommend it. Now jumping into Blender, we have this super, super basic flower, super low poly flower and I'll leave a link in the description to download this flower so you can use it in your own projects or to rig yourself. Now, I'm just gonna push add right here and add an armature. Now, what I'm gonna do is go into here so we can see the landscape and then push tab on my keyboard or go to edit mode and just scale this around so it fits the flower perfect. You can just select your joints and push G on the keyboard to kind of freely move it around. Now, once this is kind of positioned from top to bottom, you can right click the middle and subdivide it and I'll do it maybe two or three more times just like that. Now I'm just going to push G on my keyboard after selecting the joints just to kind of move it around. Maybe I'll subdivide it again. Again, the more bones, the more natural it'll look, but the harder it is to set up in Lens Studio. If you wanna get a little bit more advanced, you can actually branch out. You could push E on the keyboard and extend it out to extrude bones from a certain joint. If you wanna get maybe certain leaves or something like that. So just select the joint that's closest and push E on the keyboard and then subdivide it again, push G to move it, and this looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna hop into object mode, select my flower, now I'm going to push command or control on the keyboard, depending on if you're using a Mac or Windows, and then select the armature. Now I'm gonna push command or control P, set parent to, and automatic weights. Now, this is successfully a skin mesh. If you wanna test out the movement, you can just hop into pose mode right here, and you can push G on the keyboard to move the joints around. You can see how this pedal sort of moves separately. And overall, it just looks really cool. I'm just going to file export this as an FBX file. Cool, now I'm gonna hop into Lens Studio and I'm just going to select the chain physics template. And I'm just gonna delete all of these. Now I'm gonna select this flower example from my desktop and drag it in, import. Cool. Now we have the flower. I did a rough like texturing just to make it colorful. Um, I just colored a few of the sides. Now I'm going to drag this into the head binding so we can see how the wobble marks. Scale this down a bit. That looks kind of cool coming out the head there. And maybe rotate it a little bit further forward. That's a pretty cool look. Now I'm going to select the prefab and I'm going to select scripts and drag the chain controller script right there. Now I'm just going to extend all of the bones out, just all the way. Now I'm just gonna add a bunch of spots here and start dragging them in. Cool, now that they're all dragged in, you can see this kind of falls down and it looks pretty unattractive. So to fix this, that's because this force is relative to minus one, meaning it's on the y-axis, it's actually pulling down minus. So I can fix this by just removing the minus and make this plus one. And now you can see it kind of goes forward. Now, another thing I like to do to make it look a little more natural is make it relative to the head binding. I like to add rotation 
and that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to drag the z-axis forward so it's actually pulling forward too. And we can test this out. Looks pretty cool. The pedals over here aren't selected, so to fix this, I'm just gonna drag another chain controller right there, add three joints for this. Drag all of them here, like that. And I'm also just gonna change this to still so there isn't so much movement. And we could see how this paddle moves. So guys, I hope this video helped you understand how to do chain physics and rig your models for chain physics because it's just a great template and it's a great way to make your lenses look a lot more natural. Make sure y'all add me on Snapchat. I'll leave a link for this in the description below. I do have public chats on, so if you have any lens questions or questions in general about lenses or anything, let me know in Snap DMs and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.